I'd already decided it was going to be my last night in Max's village. I was sorry to be leaving, but I was restless again. Beware! The day grows dark, and demons stalk the gap by night. Harsh old woman, stop your superstitious nonsense. Besides, this is the best time of day for fishing, eh, Marlo? Yes, Dad. Look, Foster, I use these broken sensors to make a fish alarm. It detects the fish before it bites. Nice work, Milo. Milo was just like me as a boy, and the tech skills I'd taught him would help the village after I left. Do you really have to go, Foster? How can we ever pay you back for all you've done? It's been my pleasure, Max. One of Anita's pies will be payment enough. I owed the Gap folk so much. My first tribe fostered me when I was orphaned all those years ago. They taught me how to recycle tech scavenged from city dumps. Soon, I even built myself a playmate. I'm your friend. Call me Joe. Joey. <laughs> Joey and I were always together. As I grew, I upgraded him. He became the best friend I ever had. But then... Foster! Foster, wake up! The sensors detect a fish! It's a big one! What the...? It was no fish. Max, keep back! Marlo! Dad! What are they? Max! Drop him, you... Milo had gone. The machine, too. But its riders had left something behind. Max? Milo? What's happened, Foster? Where's my son? Max? Max? Oh, no! I told them! I told them there were demons stalking the dark! The stalker that attacked us was a machine, not a demon. Please, Foster, I don't understand. What... what happened? I told Anita everything I could, though I knew very little. Max was barely conscious. I could only hope that with Anita's loving care, he would recover. As for me, I had to follow Milo and his captors immediately. I'll bring Milo home, Anita. I promise. Thank you, Foster. I know you will. Dawn was breaking as I left the village. The featureless wastes of the gap stretched away from me. Night followed day, then day dawned once more. Time lost meaning as the tracks beckoned me ever forward. Determination had long replaced sadness. Whatever it took, I would find Milo. The tracks were barely visible now, blurred by the wind. But I was sure I'd reach their destination soon. Then I saw the thing I feared the most approaching. Sandstorm. I battled forward, but now could only guess that my direction was correct. I decided to save my energy and sank into an exhausted sleep. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more. Union City security was attacking. As my tribe screamed in terror, I salvaged Joey's motherboard. Taken captive, I couldn't save my village. But I survived when the security copter crashed, entering Union City. On the run, I soon got Joey working. Upgraded yet again, 
He helped me overthrow the evil that ran the city. As I left, I told him to make the citizens happy. Union City was no place for me. I wanted to be where I could do most good, helping the scattered people of the Gap. I woke to find the storm had passed. But not without finishing its cruel work. The tracks were gone. I was lost, and so, I feared, was Milo. Then, I heard them. Gang-gang birds, scavengers, and in this wasteland, that meant only one thing, people. sure that if I could find where the stalker had gone, I would find Milo. Then, in the distance, I saw a girl crouching over a body. The girl was holding a device to the lifeless hand. Hey, excuse me. Who the hell are you? I'm searching for a vehicle that... Ah, no! Damn birds! Wait, I just... Whatever that device was, the bird had it now. get between those birds and their feast. The gang gang birds were eyeing up the corpse hungrily. Corpse lay propped against a rock. The girl had been doing something to the guy's hand. I wondered what. He'd clearly been dead for days. The logo. I'd seen it before. On the androids that had taken Milo. The girl was my only lead. I had to follow her. I'd heard rumors of how the city had thrived since I'd left Joey in charge. I was finally going to see for myself.
fault. Welcome, unregistered gap lander. Well, hi. And you are? Community Welfare Droid 2CU at your service. To commence your Union City registration, please make your way to the immigration terminal. That's okay, I'm not here to register. I'm looking for... If you're looking for the immigration terminal, it's right over there. Thank you. So how do I register? Easy. Just go to the immigration terminal and you'll get a U-chip for your temporary ID. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Sounds easy. It is. Without it, you won't be able to interact with any of the Minos devices in this area. What's this Minos you mentioned? Minos is the interconnected computer system that is everywhere and controls everything. Everything? That sounds very similar to Link. For the convenience of all citizens. And, word to the wise, no U-chip, no access to the Minos devices. Not even the vending machines. So go register! Can you help me find a missing kid? You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. I'm looking for a vehicle that maybe came this way. A vehicle? Well, this is a freight entrance. So, you're in the right place. Right. I need to find a boy called Milo. He was... What you need to find is the immigration terminal. It's right over there. I'll be going now. About time, too. How can I help? Gang gangs look mean and ugly. A sand pit. In the desert. The irony sure wasn't lost on me. I recognized the girl. She was the one who'd run away from me earlier. Excuse me. Hello? You! Me what? You're the guy in the desert. And you're the girl with the corpse. Okay, first of all, that guy was dead long before I got there. And second of all, it's your fault Big Steve stole my deed. Lost your what to who? Do you realize how much potential trade you cost me? Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh. I trade. I'm a trader. Name's Ember. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? Mister, are you looking to trade something or what? Trade? Trade, you know, tech, gadgets, knickknacks from the Gap or the city. That's what I do. I collect stuff, sell stuff, trade stuff. Only, since you're interfering, let Big Steve fly off with my deed, it'll be a while before I can make proper trades again. Now excuse me. What's a deet? My DEET, man. D-T-T. Data transfer tool. DEET. What's the DEET for? Duh. Transferring data. That's what I was doing with that dead fella. Transferring his citizen ID for trading, yeah? You distracted me and Big Steve napped it and flew off. Like I said, thanks. Who's Big Steve? You see all these birds all over the place? Big Steve's the purple one with a beak full of my deet. What do you trade? Like I said, sometimes people from outside want stuff from the inside. Sometimes people from inside want stuff from the outside. Second one doesn't happen very often since inside's got like everything and free, but it happens. Suppose a guy from outside wanted to get inside. 
Ah, oh, my most popular item. Until Big Steve took my deet, that is. Did you see a strange vehicle come through this way? Strange? You mean like that stinky one there? No, this one had... legs. Not seen anything like that. Maybe you didn't either, crazy guy. I'm not crazy. Sure you're not. I'm looking for a boy named Milo, who might have come through here recently. You're looking in the wrong place. Only boys around here are Pixel and Voxel, and the only thing they're missing is a few screws. Tell me about this deet. Simple. I collect IDs and I use the deet to swap them. At least I did, until Big Steve grabbed it. Are you sure you haven't seen a young boy? Kinda hard to get lost in a crowd here. This place ain't exactly Aspiration Plaza. So no, I haven't seen your kid. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? I told you already, I was deeding his ID. Only now, Big Steve has my deed and ipso facto, the ID. What's a U-chip? It holds your identity, yeah? All your messages and likes and favourites and that, everyone from the city has one. So, you want something or you want to get inside your house and you just boop and it just happens. So are you digging that guy's U-chip out of his hand? What? No! Data transfer. I told you. I cloned his ID data onto the deed for later. What happens later? Well, you know, maybe someone doesn't want to be found. I do swapsies. For a price? Uh, yeah. Any idea whose body that was out there? Dunno. Just some guy from the city. How do you know? Because I got the citizen's ID from his U-chip. Duh. That's all for now. Thanks. Anytime. Oh, wait, no. Come back if you want to talk business. For someone with a business interest in dead bodies, she seemed pretty normal. Hey, kid. Hey, weird guy. My name's not weird guy. I'm Pixel. It's easy to remember because it rhymes with pickle. So it does. I'm Foster. I'll remember that easy because your name rhymes with fossil and you're old. Thanks, kid. What's your story, Pixel? Well, I'm eight years old and my birthday is in only 64 days. I'm really good at math and I can even lift my sister. And she's super fat. <laughs> Very comprehensive. Yep. Anything I can help you with today? Did a vehicle come through here recently? Maybe. How recently is recently? Like two nights ago? Oh, then definitely no. But wait, two nights ago? My brother, Voxel, he saw this giant monster. What kind of monster? Like a totally huge, but not real one. Huge, but not real? I mean, Voxel says it's totally huge, and Ember says it's not real. Well, which is it? I don't know what to believe. What's this about a giant monster? Right, so my brother Voxel, like two nights ago, it was night time, right? And we had been playing this massive game of buzzsaws and dynamos, so I was like, Wah! But, ah, uh, where was I? The giant monster. Oh, yeah, right. So, later that night, he wakes me up screaming about how he saw a giant monster. And? That's the end of my story. Don't tell Ember I told you. Listen, about this monster. Jeez, man, why are you so obsessed with monsters? They're not real. This vehicle, it had legs instead of wheels. Vehicles don't have legs, though. This one did. Your brother saw a monster, right? You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, that it was a giant daddy long legs. No, 
that your brother's monster was actually... A very small Daddy Longlegs, but very close to him? No. I caught a Daddy Longlegs once. What was your question? What do you do here? Well, me and my brother and my sister usually live in a tribe way over that way by the old burnt-down radio tower. But it's, like, so boring there. We come here for the action. I can see why. Who's Voxel? My brother, remember? Can I talk to him? I guess. But he's not as friendly or helpful as me. Real question is, will he talk to you? He's been hiding for, like, two days now. Won't speak to nobody but me. Can you tell me where to find him? Maybe he'll talk to me. Nuh-uh. You gotta earn that information. I don't know if I can trust you right now. What's wrong with Voxel? Like, why is he hiding? Yeah. I told you, man. He thinks he saw a monster. Will you tell me where your brother is hiding? Maybe we can help each other out with our monster problems. Nuh-uh. You gotta earn that information. I don't know if I can trust you right now. I'm looking for a boy about your age named Milo, who may have come through here. You're asking the right guy? I remember every face that's come through here since I was a little kid. Yeah? How many's that? Like, at least 12. How recently are we talking? Sometime over the past couple of nights. Oh, didn't know. Haven't seen no kids. What's wrong with the roundabout? It sucks. Stupid Mr. Hobsworth put a chain on it. He said it was for safety. Then he dropped the chain on his foot. <laughs> you sure you haven't seen any children come through here? Nope. Definitely would have remembered. What about anything suspicious? Suspicious? Yeah, there was this one guy. Tall, wearing a big coat and carrying a purse. I see. Nice one. And his name was Fossil! <laughs> I got the joke, kid. Bye. Call it if you need anything. A sturdy chain tethered the roundabout to the ground. got things to do. Push me! Pixel. Wanna push me on the swings? Maybe later. Uh... Will you tell me where your brother is hiding? Mm, maybe. 
Yeah, OK. You done me a favour. He's hiding in a bench in the garden. I told him I wouldn't tell no one, but you seem OK. Any idea how I can get more answers out of Voxel? I don't know, but I'm getting sick of the whole monster thing. Bye. OK, I'll go. A makeshift workbench had been set up. Its structural integrity seemed over-reliant on some old deflated tires. I hadn't seen one of these terminals in 10 years. Link, the evil behind everything that happened all those years ago. The attack on my village. The death of my mother. How can I help? Nothing happened. Probably because the machine had had its innards ripped out. It looked like the sculpture had seen better days. Unless that was the intention. There was something strange about the water. And there was an unmistakable smell of ozone. Up close, I could see the water was holographically concealing an electric fence. How can I help? Whatever it was trying to detect, I didn't have one. How can I be of assistance? Whatever it was trying to detect, I didn't have one. Whatever it was trying to detect, I didn't have one. Sir, excuse me, sir. Are you? Whatever you're selling, I am buying. No, no, I'm not selling any... A likely story. Name's Wendell. Joe Wendell. Nice to meet you. That <laughs> remains to be seen. What are you doing here? Well, whilst Bruce's power cell remains as flat as a cowpat, not a whole lot. So you're trying to get in the city? Ups a blooming lootly. Trying being the operative word. Your truck's power cell has drained. Aye, emptier than a politician's vows. There was a sandstorm put the bridge over yonder out of action. I was told to go park for a few hours, turned into a few days. Trying to keep the mini case cool in this heat emptied the power cell. I wasn't stingy on the aircon, mind, or the margarita blender up in the cab. A working man needs his creature comforts. Anyway, 13.7 volts drained to naught. And they still haven't fixed that blooming bridge. And you've been sat here ever since? No choice, until they send someone out to juice up Bruce's power cell. Someone competent, I mean. Mind if I take a look at the power cell? I'm pretty handy with this sort of stuff. Hobsworth has it. Told me he'd have it charged in a jiffy. Great. How long ago was that? About a million jiffies ago. My guess is it's either gathering dust or it's being ground to dust. So, your truck is full of mini knockwurst? You betcha. Mini K. Best in the gap. Even contains some real meat. You're welcome to take 